I am Milica Grahovac and I work with Michael Wetter's team at the Simulation Research Group here at Berkeley Lab. You're watching the third video in the Simulation with CDL intro series created for the Best Center Annual Institute 2020. In the first video, we installed the Open Modelica and downloaded the Modelica Buildings Library. In the second video, I demonstrated the architecture and the simulation performance of a simple on-off controller created in CDL. In this last video of the Best Center Annual Institute 2020, I will illustrate how to tune a controller, in other words, how to identify stable control parameters through simulation. I will provide two small examples related to this topic. Before I dive into the models, I will show you a setting that you can uncheck so you get better rendering of graphical icons. For this, you can click on Tools, Options, Simulation, and this setting, Enable New Front End Use in the OMC API should be unchecked as it is for my editor. Feel free to restart your editor after that. In the first example, I will show how a PI controller parameters affect the speed of the control response. In the second example, I will untune and tune the control response by modifying the PID controller tuning parameters. I navigated to a boiler return model that lives under examples, tutorials, and controls. The model consists of a return temperature sensor input, a CDL constant that represents a return temperature set point, and a PI controller to control the valve position depending on how far the measured return temperature is from its set point. The output signal can then be sent to actuate a valve. Without going into further detail about the model, I will now show you how to affect the speed of the control response by modifying the time constant of the integrator block. This I will do using the pre-configured boiler return model. First, I will double click on the boiler return instance and set the time constant of the integrator block to a much smaller value, for example, 20. Then I will perform the simulation and, the dis and display the result. We can now see that the valve is being actuated from fully closed to fully open within about a little less than three minutes. If I now go back to the modeling view, now I will change the time constant of the integrator block to a value that is 10 times larger, and I will set it to 200. We can simulate the model again. And when we switch back to the results plot window, we can see that with a newly set controller parameter, the valve opens up much more slowly and the full trajectory from close to open takes about six minutes. In practice, the tuning of PI controllers can affect HVAC system operation quite significantly. To demonstrate my second parameter tuning example, I will use a proprietary tool called Daimola as the Open Modelica currently does not support certain numerical aspects of some of our models, and we are currently collaborating with Open Modelica to provide such support. I intend to post an update in the video description once such provisions are made. We will use one of the heating system example models, System 5, from the tutorial package. Without getting too concerned about the details of this heating model, I would like to draw your attention to just a few relevant concepts. Here is a radiator that heats up the space, and here is a pump that circulates the water 
through the radiator. For those of you who would like to later revisit the boiler tutorial and learn more, you can find a lot more info in the documentation sections of the models. This BI controller controls the radiator supply water temperature. Let us first look at the preset controller parameters. Here, I've set the time constant of the integrator block to 200. If I now go and simulate the model with such control parameters, I can see that my control controlled variable is fairly stable. It oscillates less than one degree Celsius. If I now go back and set the time constant of the integrator block to a much smaller value, say 20, and I perform the simulation again, my resulting controlled variable now looks quite unstable as it oscillates within a range of, say, eight degrees Celsius on average. To tune the controller again, I can set it back to a much higher value. Maybe I don't need to go up to 200. If I just go to 120, I will simulate the model again and look at the output. And indeed, the supply temperature for the radiator is now stable again. With this, I would like to end the video tutorial series I created for the Best Center Annual Institute 2020 about simulation with CDL. Thank you for viewing my video. If you've enjoyed this video and you would like to learn more about how to use the Modelica Buildings Library, please visit further educational materials through links posted in the video description. Thanks for watching.